Oh, I know you're probably all sat here like, dude, why are you going to work on a car before getting power on a farm? But I want a truck. Trucks are cool. Welcome back to the channel. It's Ron here, and today we are working on a truck. <laughs> We're doing it. So, what do I need? I need a new front tyre, which is fine. I've got one. I just need to fit it. Uh, we need to go get a lug wrench. We need to read a book. All right, I'm going to do that. I'm going to skip through that. Two secs. Okay, we're booked down. We're good. We got this in the bag. We're booked down. We're going to go head up to probably American Tire. So I've got quite a lot of stuff in there. But mainly I need a lug wrench. One thing we're lacking down here is a lug wrench. So we've got the jack and the trunk along with the tire. Just need the last little bit. And a tire pump. Hopefully I've got one of those in there. So I definitely remember having a whole lot of gear, so I'm hopeful, as you can tell. So that's probably the, the jolliest episode I've had in a while. So I'm ready to get some ready to get some tires done, ready to get a car going. And I'm ready to get some power. So I'm kind of thinking something like this. So we'll have like almost like a little just the porch, I mean, not like the massive building. We're not gonna build a whole two-story building just for a farm. So I'm thinking just out behind the bedroom I'll probably build like an extended landing so it'll come inside over the bedroom you know we'll build like a wall up there and stuff keep the cold out and yeah like sort of set that place up to store food potentially cook food now nah, we'll do that in the kitchen store food um, what else are we going to do grow food being the important one and probably house our generator. All we need is a lug wrench. And probably that wrench. Ah. Oh. Hey there, Zambi. What up? You definitely heard me. Don't pretend you didn't. <laughs> Somewhere in here is gonna be a lug wrench. Probably take that gas can too. It's no good over here. Are we lug wrenchless? Surely not. No, we've definitely got one. I've definitely had one in my hands. There we go. One lug wrench. And a tire pump. Oh man. We're getting too lucky in here with these gas cans. Do you know what? I might actually bring one of these home too. I've been wanting one of these for a while. Chain. Part for tuning. Ooh. How much do these weigh? 20. We can bring that home. <laughs> I'm going to bring one home. I want one. Tire pump. Wherever you are, I'm going to find you. I still got some bits back here too. Bottle of white wine. Pretty banged up, spiked bat. I'll probably leave that. Three attempts to take that white wine. I missed everyone. It's tempting to take that too, but I kind of think that tool bench is a bit more important. Ah, there we go. As ridiculous as it sounds, the tool bench is more important. Just because it looks funky. Hopefully we can equip that. Oh, I love it. I love the logic. Just makes me happy. <laughs> oh, I actually got lucky there. Ah, oh, I have just forgot we need to place this, don't we? We can't just press one like we can with a generator. Get our metal pipe out. We have to physically place it on the ground. Ooh, getting some rain. Let's see if I've got any buckets in the hardware store we can start stocking up on water. And equip. Get you down. Nice. Oh, you did actually make it. Fair play. Come on a journey to die. I'm ready for you. Just a few big swings away from your last breath there, laddie. Screw it. 
let's just get all the swings in. There we go. Sweet as. Alright, nice. Let's get this tire on first. First things first. Front tire, we just need the jack from the trunk. So I'll just make sure the rest are pumped up too. So that is a, a sure way to lose a tyre. And don't forget to do that by the way either. So you've got to make sure your tyres are in one piece. Otherwise they very, very quickly just explode. So if they're on zero they will, will explode. No questions about it. And equip you. Ah, oh, I wanted the workbench over it, didn't I? The actual workbench. Alright, temporary. Let's get it in the corner. So I don't want to get rid of these, you see. Don't know why. Bit weird like that sometimes. <laughs> Let's get all the gas cans in here. Just to drop the weight so they won't stay in there permanently. Shift the wine to a bag. That can be dinner. And the tyre pump. God, the tyre pump weighs a ton. It's heavier than the jack, which is surprising. Alright, what do we need in here? A workbench. Need a propane torch. Wood. -a. Nice. Propane torch. There we go. And just three metal sheets. There she be. That thing is huge. Can I pick it up and move it? No. Okay. Well, we're going to have to do some tweaking in this area. This is going to be a new little workshop. Car is going to go over there somewhere. There we go. Nice. But yeah, I reckon we could even just like build a couple of walls and section this area off. Yeah, that'd be quite cool. Alright, what can we do with this? How does it work? If I just built a workbench for, for nothing? Propane gas furnace. Oh man, there's a lot of stuff to this, isn't there? A chain to baseball bat? Wow. My god. I've missed so much. You could make... <laughs> ridiculous. Attach pipes. We're just going to put pipes together and kill some stuff. Bind scissors to pipe. That's genius. Break crafted spear. Ah, I got you. Oh, that is cool. What else can we do? My mind has just been like blown. This is just ridiculous. Ah, can't really do too much with tuning then. Quite cool though. Farming's just standard. Metalworking. I think I need to have a bigger play with this. Make small metal sheet mould. Make metal bar mould. And then survivalist, was it? Maybe it was just meta working. I need to have a proper look at what this workbench is used for. Unless we do just require a workbench to actually do stuff. I don't know. Either way. Let's uh Ah. Ah, okay, there we go. That makes sense. We use a workbench to assemble long blade. We don't want to do that. And we get all of our metal parts out of this. And then put stuff together. Like these. Like a salvage club. Got ya. Or a make salvaged spear. 
We need a file, some leather strips, and a metal sheet, and we can have a sword. That's actually not a bad idea. The workbench is funky. I could spend all day looking at that. We need to move on. So. First things first, we're going to have to track down some sort of heavy duty vehicle. I've seen a few sort of dotting around here and there. Are we even like qualified to work on these properly? No. Need at least level 5. Gas tank is battered. Yeah, fuel's just pouring out of that. It's probably not even worth driving. Muffler needs a new one, kind of desperately. Gas tank. Gas tank's the trouble. What do we need for that? So it might just be worth spending a bit of time just stripping this bad boy down. Yeah, the level 5. Just sort of taking tyres off, putting them back on. God, brakes are level 6. Oh, man. Yeah, cars, cars are going to be a big, big chore in this series. I know it. My God. Okay, well, let's go on a hunt for a heavy duty vehicle. So that's that's going to be the key. Where are we? Just here. I reckon we head down in this direction. We'll check out this area. I know there's one down here somewhere, but... Yeah, I don't really want that one. I know it's banged up and there's no windows in it or anything. So it might be worth just clearing out my inventory first. Let's just get some things somewhat sorted. Okay, I've had a thought. Yeah, being in here... I was looking around trying to figure out what I actually want to do with this place and I'm going to need a lot of wood so I'm kind of thinking remember the gun store we went to? I might head back there so just down the road from it if I remember rightly it's a hardware store can't remember if it's NEP tools or well it probably would be I think they're the only hardware stores on the game <laughs> but I think that's the place that I need to go so I need an axe like desperately need an axe so yeah, we're going to brave today's blizzard, by the looks of it. And normally we're still hungry, which doesn't really come to a shock. But, yeah, we need we need an axe, a proper axe, not just a little hand axe that I've got. A proper, solid axe. And I think that's going to be the only, well, best, if not only, place to get one. There's also a heavy-duty vehicle there, but... No windscreen, again. Classic. Hmm. Sort of on the fence whether they'll actually take these guys out or not. Either way. Get ourselves prepped for a fight at least. Ah, it's not too many. We could take care of them. I love the snow on this game. I've been waiting for snow for so long. So it's not, not our first bit of snow, but the first bit of snow we've had in at least a few weeks, I reckon. It's nice. I've missed it. Oh, I remember coming down through this place. Like, way back. Unless it just looks very similar to a different area, which is also very possible. So Louisville is very blocky and very, take one wrong turn you get lost, so I'm almost very, very grateful for the map. <laughs> so it saved a lot of heartache, I can tell you that much. Uh, we could just be clutching at straws here. Yeah, we're just going to have to keep moving, aren't we? The more we keep moving, the better off we are. Yep, otherwise they're just going to keep on, keep on growing. Back to rain. Heavy rain too. Should have thought about water collectors. Now, I've had a uh, had a question about this recently. How to speed walk. You basically just want to right click and speed up time. So there's no mod, no funny business. I thought we went miles away. No funny business to it. Just right click, walk to, and then press F2, I believe. Maybe F3 to do the little speed up thing. But if you're doing it, just don't forget that the Z speed up too, because they are an absolute killer. 
So there's one way to get killed and know about it very quickly. <laughs> even quicker than you could even think about it because it happens at twice the speed. Ah, F4. F4 is the times two speed. Get out of here. Getting dangerously close. Oh man. That's that's a lot of Zeds. They were like Follow the leader as well. That's cool. Migrating, I guess. That's the word, yeah. Migrating. Or heriding. Whatever you wanna call it. That's cool, I've never actually seen that with that many Zeds before. That was quality. Man, imagine if the only other generator I found was up here. That would be a mission and a half. Oh, we've got to get up to EP tools. Great. Just a little bit too clumped for my liking. Should have a backup somewhere. I would like to try and use this pipe for a bit though. God, so many. I haven't seen this many Zeds in a while. Not in one group anyway. Almost not used to it. more space. Nice. Don't forget when you are doing stupid stuff like that, that many training, don't forget to check behind you. Because they will have you. <laughs> Very quickly too. EP tools, EP tools, EP tools. EP tools, EP tools, EP tools. Gotta be down there somewhere. This is not nice at all. So I might actually try just to get above this and wait out the wait out the storm. Okay, maybe we draw the Zeds out first. to go that way, check out that room before pushing any further. So I don't really think there's going to be any uh, any beds up here or anything anyway. But there is a chair. Ah, okay, maybe this isn't the safest place after all. Going back. <laughs> that was the quickest nope I've ever done. Okay, let's grab some painkillers, let's get ourselves in tip top shape. I can't remember whereabouts it is, but it should be somewhere along this strip. Hopefully, there's like a little off one just down here. So there was a building next to it. Yeah, I'm hoping that's it. It looks like it. I think we could be onto a winner. Come on, fellas. Let's get this done. Oh, there's a lot. There is a lot. I only wanted a couple. Now I've got all of you. Yeah. 
Oh man, did not realize I pressed C. Get a little bit of distance, break him up a smidge. Uh. Ah, that's not good. Maybe we do need that office building after all. It's gonna be our little rest zone. Stay down. Beautiful. I just want to have a quick peek and see what's going on. Whether we're... Oh, I did see that too. EP tools. That's the kitty. So I just want to have a quick peek to see what we're dealing with. Quite a few. Yeah, maybe we do fall back. It's probably the safest idea. So I'm hoping, big hopes, this place doesn't end up overrun. Well, they busted down that door. I can tell you that much. <laughs> they did not hang about doing it. fella so this place probably made just enough noise to yeah maybe not guess a little bit further back than I thought nice all right well let's go go get rested up Take the furthest point. Let them stumble their way through to us. Um, I probably shouldn't take that until we need it. No, left all my painkillers at home. Smart man. Alright, moment of truth. Can we get in? I will take one. There's going to be quite a few Zeds down here. Probably take a beta block or two. Get ourselves as prepped as possible. Man, this would have been a perfect day to start a farm. I feel like I've really missed out on this one. Was wearing a helmet, like a weird, you know, like the massive yellow Lego heads in a uh, dead, dead something. Uh, oh, what's it called? Dead Rising. There we go. The massive Lego heads in Dead Rising that you can slap on the heads of other things. I thought that's what was on his head, but it was just yellow hair. <laughs> that's where my brain's at today. <laughs> Nice. Oh, I'm going to have to get rid of you, aren't I? Sorry, pal. You look like you're just enjoying the rain, too. Oh. Please have a wood axe. Banking on it. 
pickaxe. It's a good start. <laughs> it's not quite the axe I'm looking for, but I'll take it. Propane torch. Should probably put a metal sheet up on that front window. Did just find one. Yeah, get ourselves a bit protected at least. Planks, couple bags of powder. No wood axe. Damn it. That's not what I wanted to hear at all. Oh man, where next is the question. Where next? That's the most dramatic fall I've ever seen in my entire life. Ah, oh, have we got a busted weapon? Well, how are we looking for axes? Non-existent. Guess the pickaxe is a good time to learn. So it might be worth just hanging about out here for a few days. You know, we're heading to that housing estate or something. See if we can have a little poke around and see what we can see. God. Too close, pal. Too close. It's probably the worst weapon to start axe training with. So, so taxing. One big swing away from the guy on the floor. There she is. And as for you, I wanted to push you down, but... Your friend gives us no choice. Hey, nice. us. Oh, crap. Not good. Not good, not good. <laughs> this is way more than I want to be dealing with with a brand new weapon. <laughs> Come on. You got this. Easy peasy. God, imagine being able to do this much damage. Swinging a pickaxe without getting exhausted after this first swing. Ridiculous, is it not? <laughs> this place looks fairly empty. Alright, well, I guess we probably just call it quits in here. So we'll use this place for the night, I reckon. Stay down there, it'll be an awful bed, but sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. But yeah, I'm going to love you and leave you just here. So annoying we didn't get a wood axe, but, you know, life is life and all that. But yeah, thanks for watching. Massive thanks to members supporting the channel. Like, subscribe if you enjoyed, hopefully. Stick around for the next one. Peace.